Okay, so back to our uh, series of uh, videos on the X-ray machine and the different uh, radiology or radiology structures, I feel that we should have a proper idea of the uh, basic components of the X-ray machine and one of the very basic and uh, uh, vital uh, components of the X-ray machine is actually the X-ray tube. <coughs> this is a real X-ray tube that is taken from a uh, deassembled uh, X-ray machine. In this, you will see that every X-ray machine is actually composed of this very uh, special part, which is the uh, X-ray tube. Basically, <coughs> this is a vacuum tube. It means that this space over here is completely a void of air. There is no air whatsoever whatsoever and we will discuss this in the uh, in the, uh, our discussion later on but let's talk about the components this is a special uh, this is a glass tube <coughs> see the uh, this is the size almost the size of the if you compare it to uh, like a, a, a air syringe it will be uh, 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 similar in size to air syringe and some machines it will be smaller but the basics are the uh, or the components are the same though Sorry. so it is basically composed of the cathode and the anode the copper uh, you can see it from the dif from the difference on color this is the typical uh, appearance or, or the color of copper it, uh, it, uh, uh, it is the anode and this is the cathode. Now let's start with the, with the cathode. In the cathode, if you can see it here in the, uh, in the camera, there is a depression or a recess in which there is a, this one. There is a recess. In this recess, there is a cathode uh, or there is the, uh, uh, the uh, let me, uh, if I can make it clearer over here. So uh, there is a, a tungsten uh, filament. The tungsten filament acts as a source of electrons. You will heat it up by the, uh, the electrical uh, course controlled, or the electrical circuit controlled by the uh, step-down transformer. The action of the step-down transformer actually is to decrease the amount of electrical current passing into the, uh, the uh, tungsten filament so that it will heat it up to a degree that it will cause the or help in the formation of a great amount and actually infinite amount of uh, or number of electrons that are excited but they do not leave the uh, tungsten filament. They are all here uh, being heated up, ready to be repelled. So the first step when you start your X-ray machine is actually you're going to heat up this tungsten filament so that you will repel it, uh, which is present inside the cathode, through the step-down transformer. Step-down transformer. Now, this happens when you turn your machine on. The next step is that when you're going to press on the exposure button, you are actually to, uh, are going to activate another circuit which will create a potential difference between the cathode and the anode. The, 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 the amount of the potential difference uh, in this gap is between 60 to 70,000 volts. That's 60 to 70 kV. Okay? Now, when, when this high very high voltage uh, is applied to this area, electrons will travel from the negative cathode, okay, to the positively charged anode in this area, okay? They will travel this gap due to the huge amount of the potential difference created by the step-up transformer. So, we have a step-down transformer that is going to heat up the tungsten filament and we have a step-up transformer that will create a potential difference between the negative cathode and the positive anode so that it will electrons will travel into throughout this gap which as we said earlier it is void of air 
there is no air this is vacuum space so that this will enhance the movement of the electrons throughout this cup mind you the electrons are minute structures in their uh, 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 weight so if there is air in this area it will be impossible to to move almost impossible to move the electrons from the cathode to the anode uh, uh, due to the resistance of air which is present so we need to uh, to make this area completely vacuum